Tonight we continue our coverage on the Georgetown pulp and paper mill closing an announcement leaving many residents and all of them in shock today. ABC 15's Gianna Forbes was in Georgetown for much of the day. She joins us live in the studio. So how are people there feeling about this big announcement, Gianna? Yeah, Jen and Andrew, this is not only coming as a shock to the residents who have a livelihood through the paper mill, but especially to those who've been in Georgetown for mostly all of their lives. We're, we're a mill town. That's where we've always been. The city and county of Georgetown has been home to the paper mill since 1937. And after 80 years of steam in the night sky and sweaty hands on a cold day, it's shutting its doors. We all woke up this morning to some devastating news regarding our community with the imminent closure of International Paper Company. A deep paper cut through the community so close to the holiday season. Over 700 workers will be laid off by the end of December, including five-year mill worker Brian Howard. I'm 46 years old, got six kids. I'm 16 years old to two years old. And I got to start all over. The International Paper Company calling it a financial decision, saying they will be guiding employees to other offers. And they should have given some heads up and they should not have um, done it right before Christmas. They picked one of the worst times. Not only does Georgetown Mayor Carol Giroux know this is a shock to workers, but to other businesses as well. Our community will feel the effects from its closing for a very long time. Not only economic effects, but concerns over public health as well. The city of Georgetown gets all of their drinking water from the International Paper Canal through the Petey River. Now another uncertainty. What happens after International Paper leaves? The city of Georgetown gets all their drinking water from the IP Canal. So when IP closes, unless they can work a deal with IP, all the water they use to process the drinking water comes from them. Mayor Giroux says she's also been talking with State Representative Lee Hewitt, who she says has been in communication with the Department of Commerce and the workforce to help mill workers stay afloat for now. Live in studio, Gianna Forbes, ABC 15 News. Gianna, thank you. There has also been no word or discussion on what the county plans to do with the paper mill site once it's closed. County officials did say the area, uh, there's the area actually speaking with mill officials. They're now working with them to figure out how to help some of the furloughed workers as well.